Hello, my most amazing artists. We're going to make a Dot Day coffee filter piece of art to celebrate International Dot Day. Okay, so you're gonna have a coffee filter. It looks like this. You're gonna need to flatten it out like this. You're gonna have to kind of smooth it out. Then you're gonna pick about three colors. I picked green, blue, and purple. You may not use gray, no gray, no black, and no brown. Also, be careful to not use a highlighter because it will not work, okay? So here's my example I've already done. I'm just gonna show you how to get started and then you, you can see this finished one, okay? So what I did first was I used the blue and you can make use whatever color you want as long as it's none of the no-no colors. And then you're gonna draw a shape or a line and make sure it goes all the way around. So I did circles. So I did blue circles going all the way around my whole coffee filter. You're making it go all the way around because you're repeating it because we're making pattern. We're using line and shape to make pattern. I'm gonna do one more and then you'll be able to just see the final example. And then I used a green and I made a curved line. This is how I did my first one. But again, you could do it however you want. As long as you're making lines of shapes and you're repeating it in a pattern going all the way around. So here's the finished one, and now I'm going to spray it. I'm just going to spray it a little bit. I'm just going to spray. And you can see the colors start to spread and it looks kind of like tie-dye and it, the colors are diffusing, the water is making the colors diffuse, okay? Then you're gonna carefully carry this to the drying rack and you're gonna put it on the board on the drying rack and I'll show you how to do that. 